Greetings, it is Max Diddley here, and today I am here with another Visual Basic tutorial to help you get an A in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with how to get user input and then validate it using Visual Basic. So let's get right into it, but before we begin, be sure to click the eye up in the corner for tutorials on how we can validate data using Visual Basic. As the focus of this tutorial is how we can get user input and then validate it as opposed to the validation itself. And we have tutorials that cover most validation, so I really advise you check it out. And if there's anything we don't cover with, in terms of validation, leave a comment, I'll do it. So let's get right into it. Firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to do console.writeLine, enter your name, and this is just going to ask the user, hey, enter your name. It's going to tell them what they need to enter. And then we can do dim name as string equals console.readLine. So what we're doing is we're creating a string variable. It's going to be called name, and it's going to store what the user inputs as their name. And what we do is we do equals, and then we do console.readLine. It's literally going to read what's on the line after the user hits the enter key button thingy. And it's going to assign the variable name with whatever's on there. So if we type max and then hit enter, the, the variable name is going to have the value of max. And that's how we get user input. But what if someone enters something that's not a valid name? Maybe it's too short and they type one letter. We can't have that, so we need to do validation. Let's get into making a function to validate our name. So we have got a function, a valid name, input as string, return input.length, creative m3, and end function. So we've got a little function, but we have function because it's a function, valid name is the name, and we're going to have a variable called input, it's going to be a string, and then we're going to return input.length, greater than 3. So basically, if the length of this string is greater than 3, it returns a true, if it's less than or equal to 3, it's going to return a false, and that's how we're going to validate our name. You can substitute this for whatever validation you want. Click the eye up in the corner if you want to know how. So we've got our function, but we now need to actually use it. So we can actually use an if statement to determine whether or not the user has val entered a valid name. So we can do if valid name, then console.writeLine thanks plus name, else console.writeLine invalid name, end if. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to do if valid name, and if we put in something that returns a boolean in an if statement, we're checking that it's true by default. So what we can do is we can literally say if valid name, which in all fairness kind of sounds like English. We're saying if there's a valid name, we do this, otherwise we do that. So if the name is valid, i.e. greater than three characters, we print thanks, and then we also put a plus here, and then a name. So we're actually gonna reference this name variable again. Make sure you put a little space in between thanks and the other exclamation mark. So there's a space when you print out the name and thanks. And we can do console.writeLine invalid name because the name's invalid. One more thing you need to do. Put a console.read after this to make sure your console application stays open when printing this message. Sometimes you have to do this. So that's it. Let's save our work and hit play. We're going to enter MA as our name, and that's invalid. Why is it invalid? Because it's less than three characters. So let's save our work again and hit start, and we're going to type max O. And as you can see, it says thanks max O, because the name was valid as it's greater than three characters. And it's referencing the, the name here, that it got here, and it's also thanking us. There's also a space in between, so it looks neat. So... Thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and if you want to learn how to validate your data, click the eye up in the corner because all of these tutorials synergize super well with this tutorial. Thanks for being a great audience, I'll see you next time.